straight away into this Kai'Sa. I want to make sure they can get Lockdown. They want to make sure they can get some CC. I mean, they do have a little bit with the Seju on your eyes, but they want someone that can go in so the Garen, I presume, can follow up really easily. Kai'Sa does... I was thinking of Vayne this wave bot. LeBrock kind of wants to hold it. Mickey X. Mickey is in trouble. That's not where you want to be. He's going to need a clean flash to make it out of this one, but he just does not have the time. He's going to try oh, to make it work what? anyway. Mickey just living with the Baron Summer of Life. No, first blood coming in for Nuke. Yeah. Is this going to be a three-man dive? I don't know if they can pull this off. We'll see how much damage they can do. Adam, I don't think they can do this. The only question is when to spin. Flash, phase rush, parked. Are they going to re-dive? Broken Blade's really low. Caps is going to have to be the one to tank if they want to pull this off. This could turn into a one for one. I think it might. They're going to try to fully commit for this one. He's just continuing to spin, and Caps gets taken down in the end. That's just a one for one. Not ideal for the side of G2. Of course, yeah. Adam is losing a ton of XP. He has no TP, so it's going to put him in a massive deficit. But meanwhile, oh. the counterplay on the bottom side, Mickey X, perfect hook buffer, taking him out to safety means there is no kill here for BDS. Really good buffer there by Mickey to get out of the combo from the into Yikes topside. Just gonna take away the wolves and the grump, baby. Mickey. Looking for some action here in the mid no lane. Flash. Nuke relatively low oh. on mana. Hook into the minion though. Definitely not ideal. LeBron waiting with Hexflash over the wall, but I don't think he can save it. He's just going into the midst of the meat grinder and no one else is there. Shield blast cones back over the wall to run away. BDS, no. Oh, they are just throwing kills into Bambi. You can't make these kind of mistakes against G2. We'll see if Shio can get onto Broken Blade. He just level up to level six. Level six is massive. It gives him so many additional stats. It means he's going to buy that much more time. The rest Yikes of the team here. now descending. Yike is a big boy. Swirl Seed, not going to connect. Adam level six, ticking over before he can use his ultimate to finish off Broken Blade. Mickey in the area. And right now, G2 just coming out so spec, just willing to completely give up that wave, give up those plates, because meanwhile on the bottom side, G2 are taking Dragon. And they might take something towards bot as well. BDS realizes they might have to ride the first few levels. You can't really blame him, because Crown, he's been such a standout. But here's the old clean ultimate now coming in. They're trying to lock him down. Squirrel Seed can result in the sleep. Will lock him down. They're now trying to port him out of safety. Yikes! Whoa. Big damage coming in! Herald usage on the top side, but really when we talk about Adam, we talk about signature Ooh, champion. Oh, the not. solo kill under tower. Looking for the solo kill, trying to finish off Broken Blade. Oh, 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 just in time, the graphic backing it up. Adam manages to find the solo bolo, and now Caps is going down to the mid lane, and just like that, BDS fire back. Solo lane galore, incredible play from him. Lock up Caps. Fishing for a fight, X flash over the wall. Shio oh. now gonna be in trouble, it's clean from the key X. Immediate locks down onto Shio, he's ticking, he's burning. The Ignite, the Aftershock, will it be oh, enough? Shio still trying to walk away. LeBron getting knocked back, Crowny killing one. Adam in the midst of everybody and he just keeps spinning. It's a double for Crowny. Now he's gonna take a quick nap. But G2, they're not gonna get anything back yet. They get the shutdown finally onto Adam. A broken blade man traded his life. Nuke stepping forward, Crowny stepping forward. The duos of carries oh. finding the kills on the backside of that fight, killing. But Crowny doing so much work alongside Adam. And it was the Garen they had to worry about, but now it's the Zeri too. They get the dragon, and that'll the two v two. He and Lebrob winning what looked like an unwinnable two v two, turning a play on its head. He's been playing like a man possessed this season, and now he's set up to do it again. Is it looks like Mickey's been caught out. Should be an easy kill, easy finish. Crowning on a ramp. Caps and Yike getting the kill, looking for this top tier one. Broken Blades responding with bot tier one, so even trade of objectives most likely. But BDS pushing their advantage. Mickey X. I think the struggle right now, Kendra, is that. Yike is so far ahead of Shio, but it's so much harder for Jack. Yeah, because if you take Yike out of the equation, the only other member of the team who's ahead is Mickey by 200 gold, which doesn't mean anything. Now, Midland, like not everybody is aware of. Yeah. And look, G2 want to dive top. They want to get top tier two, but look who's on the way. Adam's coming up towards to the his top tower. side. Good luck. landing the three man knockup. Nuke on the backside, only broken blade on top of for now. Yike now leaping in. He's going to man the sleep onto two. That's big. Both carries. Yike, it's his time to shine. He's going to try to find him. Spin, 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 getting through. Broken Blade taking out Nuke. BDS getting shut down finally. The Lilia is making an impact. Mickey flashing in, hooking, keeping the Sejuani locked. One more kill for G2 Esports. Only Adam left standing as G2 find the fight. A little bit of disrespect there from BDS holding that top tier one. Thought they had members closer. Adam trying his best to respond. We'll get a mid tower, but just like that, game's blown wide open for G2. No flash, no smite. No chance of a steal, likely, but chance of a fight. No all Mickey now committing. Adam ready to go in on the backside, but for now, Broken Blade keeping him at an arm's length, and they're just collapsing onto Adam immediately. He's gonna blast Cone out to safety. He'll be fine for now. As the dead man's can just walk away from this one, but G2 found the advantage, found the fight, got the Baron, and now they're just trying to press as hard as they can, not looking to give BDS an opportunity to come back in this game. Yeah, if a sleep hits Crowny or Nuke, it's, it's lights out, isn't it? Big poke onto LeBron. Does he use the ult here, Yike? No, he doesn't. Oh, oh. Oh my, that is a lot of- that just keeps burning. going! Yeah, what the <laughs> He's- yes. He was on 69 HP! Stop, drop, and roll, LeBron! You're still on fire! 
My god, the burn is just unreal. Down roll, just two five seconds off, so the little things, and they add up. And again, when you're turbo fed and you have both burn items, it does mean a lot of poke. Shio getting poked out before the tower even falls. Now a very sleepy Sejuani will just get picked off here. BDS going back into G2, but Yike does so much damage. There's kind no of base now. This is another thing where they just have to give it. The last couple times they've been trying to defend it. Crowny still not able to base. G2 can keep going here. Five seconds left. That's maybe a couple of tower hits they can get with his Baron up creeps. Adam now is jumping forward, spinning, will get stunned, will get pulled back to Mr. Team. LeBron jumping in just to make sure that Adam can back off. With but these hex gates, just, it's like a roller coaster ride for him. Maybe a bit too much fun. His BDS now descending on the G2 support. Hansama waiting over the wall, though. LeBron immediately forced to ultimate. Yike. It's the passive onto Crowny. Lebrov taken out. Now looking Ooh, for the Crowny sleep on the Crowny. Good E, good patience. Try, try to take away some camps, put a little bit of vision down. See if anyone is being greedy up here from T2, but nope. They're all around bot side mid. Yes, because this is getting a little bit sketchy. They might need to just drop this Baron, otherwise it's turning into just a straight up 50-50. There's no real looming no threat of spells to push Shio back. They're taking a bit of poke here, though. That does make it a little bit difficult, but overall, if you can get a rise, if you can get the Garen, if you, if you can get into the back oh, they're gonna two, they're gonna flip it and they're gonna make it work. But now, Crowny stepping forward, Crowny going back over the wall, nailing Broken Blade, getting a little bit of damage down. Yikes, still standing though, BDS. Not sure if they want to keep this one going. Crowny now going and taking out Mickey X. Crowny looking for another one. Yike taken down. BDS trying to find the fight, but it's Hansama. Hansama untouched. Hansama on the back line. The Kaisa standing strong and looking to turn oh. the fight. The flash finish to make it work and a triple for Hans to win the day. Seven, one, and three on this Kaisa. Such an exceptional performance in that fight. A lot of BDS were focusing on Yike there, and before he died, he got a massive sleep off, so Hans just had so much space to work with. And with 30 second death timers, I think they might be able to end here. G2 are full committing for it. They have Baron up creeps. Five seconds on the Brov, no ultimate. He can try to buy time, but he might die really quickly. 10 seconds on Crowny as well. Looks like they're going to call it off. Don't want to risk it. They could probably put it. Decent damage down on the Han Sama. Luke's starting to hurt. Two and a half items. Anathema's changed just to make sure that Shio is at least a little bit more tanky. Not sure who has it on at this moment. BDS and Rob debating, can they go in here? G2 just want to keep the slow siege going. BDS eventually need to find an opportunity to go in, but it's a 10k gold deficit now. G2 starting the fight. Shio just has to lead back and safety. Shio down before the fight even starts. LeBrov trying to walk in, but BDS oh, just getting place. routed in their own base. An instant three-man stun. Now it's Hansama onto the backside of the fight. G2 are too far ahead. There is nothing left on the rift for BDS as G2 will take game one in dominant fashion. Indeed they will. G2 just playing better as a team, I think, grouped up. And uh, with this triple quadra threat comp even of G2, the carry pants can fall on anyone. It was Yike in the early that wild growth and he's gonna go for it. So I think to no surprise, BDS's draft is just very meta orientated and Nola. <laughs> Yep. I think that's basically how the BDS drafts go for <laughs> Mets Champs and Adarius. <laughs> uh, and G2 is just so strong. Doesn't decide to go back vault 1v1 here. Hans will get a nice trade onto Crowny. And early levels. Hans, so I'm going to feel pretty confident about that trading. A lot more spell-reliant AD carry. As Caps playing on the edge here. Shio now trying to walk in. Caps going for the slow. Mickey in the area. Shio over the wall from Shio is clean, though. Caps is going to get locked up. Should be more than enough damage coming in from the Elise. First blood. Donated over to Nuke. That is the perfect situation for BDS. Punish it here, Yike and Mickey trying to invade onto this jungle support of BDS. See if they can find anything to be back from Nuke. If they want to take this 3v3, BDS can. Keeping it going, but Lebrov is right behind them. Yike desperate to get something back. The knockup is not going to connect. Yike now trying to leap out of safety. He's already burned the E. All the damage reduction starting to fade away. They've taken out Yike. They're going to take out Mickey. It's well. G2, what are you doing? BDS was sitting there in isolation. They're going to give up this Drake, which I think is smart. It's really hard to face check into the, the Nautilus. One hit hook lands onto any of the four. For Yike, he's gonna sweep his way in. Could get hit by. Oh, Mickey, nice blind nice side step. Who goes in? Mickey just getting chucked out. That's so much damage. Mickey just taken down completely. Over. They can't really threaten anything unless Mickey can find a flash hook here. Setting up the feathers. Root is big onto Crowny though. Now flashing out to safety. Hook gonna land. Alt gonna land onto Crowny. TP. But not enough damage. Nuke now stepping forward, looking for the scoop back. Hansama clean on the ultimate, but the feathers are going the wrong way. Mickey now trying to make his way out to safety. Caps hit gold in favor of BDS. Look at BDS though. They want to contest his shields on the way. No flash on Yike. They can look for a fight here. We'll see if Caps doesn't have TP actually, so it's gonna be a 4 4 50 who gets it in the end. Now it's gonna be G2 taking away the Herald. That's gonna be max. Dash out. Yep. And the upgraded form. Yike can dash over the wall. Herald, that tower is probably gonna go down. This using just force for two. Using the Belbeth Void Remora to just immediately pressure the tower. Zoning Crowny away, just gonna break open mid-tier one. That's massive for getting more map control for looking to match on some of these objectives, but have to be careful. You're just pretty strong. Yeah, just making sure they get something in response. Trading is so important. G2 know he's here. 
the wall, Shio. Gonna get stunned up, gonna get knocked up. He doesn't even get a chance to repel into the sky. G2, perfect pick onto Shio. And now Adam is gonna be the one in trouble. Hook hitting the minion. Mickey still on the chase. Adam running for his life. Surely there is no way out of this one. The CC immune, the Lulu. We'll make sure that he can escape in the end. Caps is getting a tower on the other side of the map. G2 or EDS. Should just be able to break open this top lane tier one. Caps hovering around in the area. G2, the rest of the team in the darkness, ready to respond. The play. They might be as good as dead. No tower to run Where's the cocoon gonna go? Push back is big from new, getting the ultimate up in time. This Caps can turn into his wow. ladder, but they just cut down Broken Boy. The damage is massive, and Caps is getting nothing done. What goes up must go down, and Caps is certainly going down here. No, a flash out to safety, but now He's Mickey's dead. gonna die. BDS, they do so much damage. G2. Full string to contest. Have to be careful. We've seen it already. Every one of Shio's cocoons could be a death sentence. Oh, Both going to go in. They're trying to burn through the elites, and they're going to take her out. Goal is not able to go up to the air. Hansama taking out Shio, but is Adam in the backside. Auto attacking Yike going forward, trying to find the true form, but he will just find his death. Adam running into Mickey X. Hansama, four members still standing for G2. Adam on the hunt. Nuke on the backside, but will not be able to get anyone else taken out. But this BDS, they have so much damage. G2. Trying to stay together, get the jacks, get the, the Belveth, get the Silas on top of one target. Previous fight, Broken Blade leapt into Nuke, tried to flash oh, over the zero off of that hook, could be everything. Shield goes up though, we'll find the disengage. Immediate double TP, and this is going to be the fight. Broken Blade leaping, trying to isolate LeBron, taking out the Lulu before the fight can even start, but LeBron managed to stay. Oh, going to the backside, and it's big, big damage. Crowny and Shio still standing for now. Caps leaping forward. Good damage, good sustain. But Adam, what they need, Broken Blade ticking, it's burning. burning. Trying to mitigate the magic damage, 25% less. He will survive with the counter strike. LeBron still trying to keep Adam, Adam standing. Adam, this. so much healing now coming through. Nuke waiting over the wall. The Azir could be massive. Hansama, Mickey X, Caps playing on the edge here. Caps. Oh, maybe they look for Adam here, but uh, trying to take away the crab. Caps is over the wall. He's going to dash onto Adam here. Can he get out? Can he survive? Walking up Adam. Adam, no ultimate. 10 seconds left. Crowny now on the retreat. Big stun coming in from Broken Blade, but he's in no man's land. He has to flash out of safety. Now Crowny's on the chase, but this is big. I don't know if he can 1v1 the Jax. He's just dodging every single attack, but they turn him into a cute little critter and knock him out. Broken Pull the map. They can start to force these objectives. Need to look for two towers here as Hans is recalling. Mickey is recalling. BDS capitalizing on the advantage that they have built for themselves. Capitalizing on that massively favored fight. Taking Dragon, taking mid lane tier one. Now looking to get. Maybe BDS are just waiting for that spell, waiting for that summoner. Shio looking for Caps, who's still trying to find something. But Caps is taking so much poke just to even walk forward. Now oh, trying Caps. to heal up. Big ultimate might be enough though. Hansama just trying to isolate Crowny and take him out. But Crowny so strong. The knockback nice. is it going to be big? They take out Crowny. Hansama will trade his life in exchange. But Caps is already down. Yike is on the backside. But everybody on G2 is falling. Broken Blade going to burn. He goes golden. Yike wants to turn. Yike, this could be his hero moment. Does he have nice. what it takes? It's oh. not a Enough, BDS will find the fight. Baron Dance is over. BDS win it. Three minutes away from their soul, they're gonna control the map. Massive for BDS, and I cannot wait to see that fight. You can see G2, soul focus, they're tunnel for vision. Oh. Yeah. And every time we want to praise them for Clean League of Legends, it feels like they add something else to the resume here. Yeah. Good things, but the little well, things matter. The time correct. Lasers. Duke with the Sand Soldiers, the extra range, the Baron Empowered Minions, they should be able to start to break open the base. See these, these waves are playing four melee champs and a Zaya. How are they supposed to stop these creeps from getting into the base? Botanib is gone. They can start moving into mid if they want, but they're just going to keep going through bots, it looks like. Push these waves in, make G2 respond. Caps is going to get a top tower. That'll be a bounty, but he needs to recall soon and help G2 in this defense. There'll be two cannon minions on this mid wave, and I think they're going to siege onto this Oh, Mickey, did he just flash hook the wall? I think yes, he did. There's he the did. emote, there's the TP. This I think is fine. Don't think there's an engage here. They just lost the flash hook on Mickey, but they might have to go anyway. They're running out of time. Caps, take away the Azir ultimate. Try to find the angle to the backside. He's looking for it. He gets stunned, he gets locked up, he gets wild growth, but he still manages to push a few back. Nuke into the midst of the team, but he held on to the shifting sands and he will stand strong on the backside. Broken Blade trying to make the difference. 1k gold shut down onto the Crony, jack, Crony, but it's Crony. not gonna be enough. Crown, he's standing tall, taking down G2. Broken Blade gets a thousand gold, it. but it's gonna cost him the game. They've done it. They've taken down G2. We are gonna be going to a game three in this best of three series. Broken Blade trying his best to do anything he can, but LeBron's not giving it to him. Bot waves coming in, mid waves coming in. Looks like Broken Blade is gonna proxy that. Do they have any creeps down here? Yes, they do. 20 seconds on Yike. I think that's game. What a showing from BDS playing calm and collected, not giving G2 anything in these fights. Standing tall as five. These creeps should be enough. Broken Blade's gonna recall BDS. Looking for a minion hit, they don't actually want to commit to the end. Seven seconds on Yike, it's not over yet. You can see them laughing and smiling. They think it is over, and they should be able to push in on the next siege. You flank, ward them off. 
Bottom nymph's gone, mid nymph's gone. Just stay towards top. Don't even need anyone to push the waves in, just in case. Has to come down here. Nuke now jumping forward onto Caps. It's a bit of a split fight. Hansama finds him in the choke, but Adam just walks forward. Hansama has no room to play the game. Just gets cut down, brings the feathers back, but to no effect as BDS are tearing through G2. Caps does nothing on the back line. BDS rolling over G2 in the fight. Five for zero, and they will close it out. G2, yeah, nothing left. BDS have it all. And they're gonna have this game too. So much damage, they can't even get Adam down. He's still full HP, that Mountain Soul, the Gore Drinker, all of them on top of him. And we're going to a game three here. BDS know how much this means. On both side, I wouldn't mind something like a Scion or anything, just weak side, but he's gonna go for the Renekton. Play up against Broker Blades ja Jax, but I think BDS's main focus now is this Cape in Karma Lane. Because of course, Leona, if they to yeah. replicate results that are that explosive from Yike. Definitely. Hang on a second, Flash in already. Aggressive is gonna get Zenith Blade down, Ignite now taking Mickey, he's trying to back up, Caps bringing him in, Mickey ticking, burning, the Ignite won't quite finish him off, but Shio should be able to get the job done, Crowning gonna get knocked down, first blood, crucially, split second off from going in the favor of BDS, as Shio does take down Mickey, and threatens to deny Caps some CS, but Caps, even without any mana, is gonna return to land to catch this wave, so Caps has no trade threat until he does get a chance here. to recall, now fully committing though, Yike in the area, Lebrov has to be careful, stunned and now landing, Managed hit with one. Yike is very is fast. LeBron gonna get taken out. Yike gonna grab another kill here. Conqueror proct and Yike takes out LeBron. Yike looks to chunk him out a little bit, but I'm not sure if there's a threat of a kill unless Nuke can get in range. Yike still has to flash. Aftershock proct. Good damage here. Needs one more stun, but it's gonna need a lot more time before that's off cooldown. It's Adam, Adam. and Broken Blade. Trade back and forth on the top side, but Broken Blade does a lot of dead. damage. Flashing back to the brush. Adam trying to buy time, but surely Broken Blade should get this one. That's gonna be the kill, the Broken Blade. And it is all. Said, side lanes falling apart slowly. Adam. Hang on, Caps can get Dove here, I think he might die. Caps going forward, trying to get some damage down on the nuke, but LeBron beautifully tanks the tower aggro there. Yike might try to run him down, but I just it's hard. shouldn't be able to kill the Karma here with nuke in the area. So clean kill, clean okay. dive yep. inside of BDS. Good kill, Shield should get this dragon. Does get a little bit hairy sometimes with the E auto smite, he's fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, gold is even. Just play. Maybe they look for any kind of kills on the exit, but they're gonna, I think Mickey can just look for a flash in here, just looking to commit. They're gonna try to take the objective away. Can they get it at the end? Caps grabs the Herald. I think he did it in game one too. He just keeps making it happen. Yike burning, ticking, getting knocked down. Nuke gonna grab that kill. It's big for Nuke, but he will trade his life for it in the end. G2 still grabbing the Herald and Hansama now stepping in, but Crowning's on the way forward. Once the root connects, he's gonna get caught in the trap. The cleanse comes Ooh. out just in time. Hansama making it work and Caps on the hunt now for Crowning. Massive Jace damage coming in. Thunder Blow back into Mickey. What a clean combo, but no Crowny cleanse out to safety. He desperately wants to get the kill back, but he doesn't quite oh. have the damage. Mickey hits there. If the auto, you know, five more AD, maybe he instantly manages to grab two, but because he doesn't, it just adds insult to injury. Now about 19k to 16.5. Broken Blade in trouble here, though. Not a lot yeah. of mana. Red buff finding a bit of healing. Yike in the area. Uh oh. Massive now. Adam's going to be in trouble. The sleep can come out. He hits uh -oh. both. Watch out, Eep not even needed. Quick kill, now Shio's gonna be in trouble. One more kill going over to G2. BDS are punching well, but the counter punches coming out from G2. First team is, and he plays around it correctly. So the map is so scattered right now. Everyone's just kind of all over Both the place. Both Adam, Ignite already taking down. He's gonna try to alt his way out of this one, but he just doesn't have enough space to work with. Yike gonna finish the job there. Yeah. G2 out of nowhere in complete Crowny's control dead. of this game. Flash in, Crowny no room to play. Hansama gonna finish it off with the Q, the piercing arrow, and Shio getting chased down as well. How long in the leaf start? Cloud Rift for the extra movement speed. Shio now running out to safety, flashing out, and BDS losing fight after fight, summoner after summoner. The gold league growing more and more in the favor of G2. This is the G2 mid game, fully unleashed. There is nothing left for BDS on the map right now. The TP coming in, a desperate attempt, trying to hold on to some kind of control here as Adam will back up Nuke in the middle. Caps has flash. Shio doesn't have the ultimate yet. Big potential. No shutdown here on Caps, actually, but they're still gonna try to force for this kill. Yike now going in to go for the three-man sleep. TP on the way, oh and time for a little watch out. Eat big damage onto LeBron. Now LeBron now getting run down, and Caps with Mickey X backing him up. They're gonna try to finish off Nuke before the fight even really breaks out. They can't kill Yike, and Yike is killing everybody else oh in return. God. Just look at him go, tearing through them. Put them to sleep. Yike, another double for the G2 jungler. It's rough, isn't it? BDS can't even do a play of their own. And now all their towers are just gonna start falling all around them. This game three, G2 aren't here to mess around. Yeah, tower will fall. Adam might get a top tower in response. Probably an objective bounty as well. But yeah.
grasping its rolls here, BDS. B BDS just, there's nothing. Yeah. I mean, we can't. There's times in casters where you, when you're a caster and you want to give people the benefit of the yeah. doubt and you want to say, hey, they can make the miracle happen. But 10k gold in the lead at 16 minutes, oh, April. Oh, he oh. hasn't hit a shot blast this game and it does not matter. <laughs> he cannot EQ and can't inform, oh, still going. but he's got hammer form and that's all he needs. Caps with the one v 2 is the bot lane of BDS between towers at tier threes at 16 minutes in. Harold popped. Caps can TP back here if he wants to just keep the game going. But yeah, the Herald will crash. Looks like G2 will run away. And uh, yeah, you're right. This is just... Um, it's just a victory lap for G2. Having a bit of fun. Yep. And bless BDS, they're trying, but... <laughs> almost a 12,000 gold lead now in 16 minutes. And this is... And again, they can fish. And at this point, if you see, they can 3v1 this Jax. Nope, there's a TP. Broken Blade kill, ignited. Though. Can they get the kill? They should just be able to lock him up and take him out. Broken Blade now trying to run to safety. Kill. Massive shutdown. A small glimmer Waiting of for them to kill you. And that's... Uh, because I still think BDS deserve a lot of praise and recognition for that second game. And maybe for this pick on the caps. Another piece of glitter. That's two. Shut a the... little bit. Do they? Here they go. Maybe he's not. He's going to fight a bit more. Mickey's Mickey just going to flash over the wall. Adam, the they're trying to take his glitter away. He just wants a gold star, G2. Leave him alone. No stars today, G2. Mm. Just dismantling BDS. Yep. It's just caps is laughing. He knows it's just yep. destruction. Ants is laughing. You blocked my mid laner on Facebook. Uh, and now you're going to die. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Taken out straight away there, Adam. Mickey's helping out. Flashing over. He's uh, ready to go home. Wants to get this done with Dragon Ball Fall. Stops the soul point for BDS. And I think what'll happen here is G2 will just reset, go towards Baron, start it up, force BDS to walk into them and put them to sleep. Here we go. League of Legends. Still happening. 19 minutes, 25 seconds, 18 to 5, 10k gold lead. For G2 Esports. Fawn Lady going in. Big damage on the LeBron. LeBron trying to find the root. They're TPing in. They're ready for a fight. LeBron surely going to fall here as soon as Caps gets in range. LeBron taking down. He doesn't even get the chance. Yike just cutting through him. Oh Hansama on the side. Turning Gale off. forcing forward. They want to kill Hansama so bad. But they do not have the damage. Shio praying for the presidential turkey pardon, but he will not get it. He's just taken out of the pit. G2 going to flawlessly transition to Baron. It's because he turned into a pig, not a turtle. Adam. 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 Yeah, there goes the glitter. But he had to try, because why not? Why not? It's not like the game is winnable, is it? You can see there him last big fight. It's the only real way to stop the siege from happening, but Nuke's not even here. Maybe he can TP behind some wards, but... Yeah, Adam. Uh, Broken Blade just kind of 1v3ing them right now. Pushing bots. Inib's going to fall. Adam's going to die. Adam's gonna die. There he goes. There he goes. And uh, yeah, G2. Maybe they can end through bots. No, they're not gonna do it. Yeah, they, maybe they are freeling it. 22 minutes in. See if they can look for the Nexus. Not much BDS can do. They can't even walk up. Crowny's got the swirling seed on him. He can get put to sleep in a second. Nope. And uh, they're gonna go for mid. Get a couple more creeps in here. I think that's it. This is probably the game. G2 are ludicrously far ahead. 14k gold, 16k gold, 16k gold. Math. Mathematics. Hard. Not looking great here. Crowny gonna get locked up. Nice dash backwards. Cleanse Gale Force back into the base. Crowny standing tall for now, but he is gonna go Sleepy night time. night. Sleepy time and big damage. Good night to Crowny. Have to hope for next week. Adam desperate to turn it back, but they do too much damage. Not a kill. Not a single kill. No fountain dive. This is not the G2 I know. G2 taking the series. That was brutal. Yeah. Game one and two, back and forth. Game three.